Today I wanted to go over one of the easiest ways that you guys can be farming the absolute best loot here in Modern Warfare Zombies. Not only are we going to be farming up some schematics, but we also have a chance of finding any of those classified acquisitions, wonder weapons, or anything else. So maybe if you're missing some of those schematics, or if you just want to farm up some of the best loot in here, hopefully we can answer some questions today. But with that, welcome on back to the channel everybody. If y'all don't know, my name is Ghost. I appreciate everybody that stops by the video today. If you're into Zombies content or anything Call of Duty, consider rocking that like button, man. We just hit 14,000 subscribers and I cannot thank you guys enough for all the support lately i set a huge goal of 20,000 subscribers that i would love to hit by the end of summer so far you guys are absolutely killing it and i have no doubt in my mind that we're gonna absolutely hit that so we got two runs for you guys here inside of the elder dark ether today and we're gonna be using the jack purifier flamethrower especially to get rid of this hvt surprisingly this thing has not been nerfed yet now with how powerful that this thing is everybody's been thinking that this is a bug or like some sort of a glitch with how much attention that this thing has gotten from content creators and streamers and everything like that that this thing probably should have gotten nerfed by now but surprisingly it hasn't so my theory as of right now is that the flamethrower damage might actually just be intentional and we probably won't see a damage adjustment until season three now watch me eat my words and there be an update tomorrow that completely just nerfs this thing into the ground <laughs> now on this first run we only had an epic ether tool on our assault rifle so the flamethrower could have been doing a little bit more damage and i actually had to go off and refill my ammo and come back and i swear to god i've seen this movie before big ass mega abomination pinning a little guy against the wall <laughs> luckily when i came back this guy he didn't regain too much health and he went down really quickly and the rewards that we got out of this guy was pretty nice we got that vr11 case we got an epic ether tool we got the magza holding schematic a self revive and plus we got another elder sigil definitely not a bad pull at all now i have been noticing a lot of people in the comments section saying that the old dark ether is better than the new dark ether so i can't agree i think that the schematics and that those acquisitions that you get from the previous dark ether are definitely hands down better than the ones that you get out of this one but if you go into the old dark ether and start completing contracts and there you're only going to be finding those three acquisitions that is the golden armor plates the dog bone and the ether blade and as of right now if you're doing contracts inside of the new dark ether you have chances of finding all six of those classified acquisitions but yes you can only get the new schematics in here but what would be the point of going in there and only chance in getting those old acquisitions if you could have a chance of getting all of the acquisitions i guess if you're going into like the old elder then you do have pretty much a guaranteed chance of finding those classified acquisitions especially if like those are the three that you want for sure but if you want a chance of absolutely getting anything just farming up the best loot in general while having an easier run and this dark ether is definitely going to be for you guys especially if you like to run solo as much as i love the old dark ether doing that escort solo was a big pain in the ass even with the vr11 the hardest two things about coming in here into the new elder is going to be either taking care of that hvt or dealing with this holdout mission that we're in right here as long as you guys set up like a sentry gun and you have a nice gun that you're actually confident with you should be able to take care of this thing with no problem take a look at this guys this is what i'm talking about we finally got this holdout mission done and we got the ether blade case and we got that blood burner schematic plus another ether tool see this is what i mean why be farming for only one or two things when you could be farming for all of the best stuff now we're gonna head up to the top of the mall and grab our very last contract and i figured i would leave this part in just in case anybody doesn't know how to get up here without a scorcher case i'm sure most people do but just in case not only that but we got that ammo case that was along the building that we can hit to refill our ammo and our decoys we're gonna jump up on the truck here and then up up on the boxes and onto the roof make your way around the mall to the other side and then you can easily climb up to the bunny and like i've said before this is definitely one of the more easier contracts to do as long as you have plenty of decoys or some monkey bombs cashmere's anything to distract those zombies you should be able to get these things done my biggest tip though especially for doing this contract in here is that after you get done with that last extractor for some reason there's still gonna be a lot of zombies around you usually when you complete these contracts most of the zombies will end up exploding around you kind of giving you a little bit of space to be able to grab whatever's in that rift and for some reason after doing this contract some of them explode but you're going to be left with a lot of them still around you it kind of feels like they fix the glitchiness of these things when you actually go up to activate them most of the time it actually pulls out that little pad whenever i do it now now this contract didn't offer us the absolute greatest loot when we were done but we did end up getting a blood burner key so i'll be taking that thing you guys will see what i'm talking about right here and i I swear to god i've seen this movie before too but this is why ladies and gentlemen i always say bring in at least a couple silver vibes whenever you plan on doing this thing solo because you never know we're gonna climb to the top of this building here and jump over towards the exfil i think we got plenty of good loot during this run now for me personally i usually do like doing the contracts in that order so that way i'm doing the ether extractors last because this exfil is really close that way i don't have to travel very far so it's gonna be right up here inside of this little building here you guys are still kind of curious about anything about this new dark ether maybe where 
any of the exfils are, the bunny locations or anything. I did just do a video completely breaking down this Dark Aether. I will have that link down in the description if you guys want to go check it out. So let's get in here and exfil the hell out of here. Take a look at this, guys. We got some pretty damn good loot. Not only did we pull some of those schematics, but we also got some of those good acquisitions as well and some of the previous Dark Aether acquisitions. So now we're coming back in here and this time things are going to be a little bit different. We are back in the Elder Dark Aether, but this time we're going to be using the Flamethrower with a legendary Aether tool on it. So hopefully we can just wipe out that HVT almost instantly. We also brought in the VR11. I don't know about you guys, but I love the speed that you get with this thing. It just gives you that little bit of extra boost, which just kind of feels nice to run around with it. That is kind of a little tip for you guys too. If you don't have stamina up, you can use the VR11 as kind of like a substitute for it. But look at this guys. Here we are at this HVT and I don't know about you guys, but I get the mega abominations all the time. I don't ever get the other ones. Yes, I know they exist, but I don't ever get them for some reason. <laughs> but look at this. We were absolutely just melting this guy and when he had just a sliver of health left, he ended up just charging us and downing us. Now, I ended up using the only self res that I had, so luckily we were able to finish this guy off with the AR really fast and he dropped another self res for us, thank God. But we got another Elder Sigil and then we got the VR11 case with an ether tool. Definitely take all of that. But now we're back over here inside of the holdout mission and this one's going to be a little bit different because we got the VR11, but it can also be easier because all you got to do is be turning a bunch of these zombies so that way they're going to be acting as decoys. And it's pretty much just up to you to focus on the things like the disciples and those manglers that are going to be shooting at you. But after getting this guy done, this contract ended up giving us one of the best acquisitions I think that's in the game right now, the Mags of Holding. This thing can absolutely just turn some guns incredibly OP. And it's been really fun just kind of going through and seeing how each gun kind of reacts to Mags of Holding and oh, beware, you can waste your Mags of Holding on a melee weapon. Trust me, I've done it. The amount of good loot that I have just absolutely wasted on testing out stuff is just insane, guys. <laughs> We're here getting our last E3 extractor done and I don't know if you guys can tell I am absolutely fighting the stick drift that's on my controller. It just wants to go to the left all the time. You could really tell when I was trying to do this last ether extractor, I was struggling. <laughs> but this was definitely one hell of a contract and gave us some really damn good rewards. We ended up getting that VR11 schematic. We got another Magza holding plus a refined crystal. Definitely a damn good pull. And what did I tell you guys about that Magza holding? For some reason, for me, it ends up popping up in here all the time. Definitely just makes these runs and coming in here worth it. Plus being able to find all of that other stuff from the previous Dark Aether. And don't get me wrong, I'm right there with you guys. I honestly think that the previous Dark Aether's acquisitions are overall better. Like you have the Aether Blade and the Golden Armor. I don't think those are going to be easily topped. But hell, if I can come in here and not only get stuff like the Mags of Holding, the VR-11, all those Wonder Weapons, I can find everything else from the previous Dark Aether. Aether Blades, Golden Armor, Dog Bones. And it's overall just way easier to do as a solo player. Yeah, I think this one is definitely the one and worth it, guys. When I did notice a few comments in my last video of people wondering what you get if you complete the ether nest in here so i completed it and this is what i got out of the chest i ended up getting two three weapon mods actually <laughs> i remember the last time i ended up doing this i ended up getting like a monkey bomb and i think it was a rare ether tool it just wasn't really worth it but on my next few runs i will come in here and go through and clear out the mall and see what kind of loot that we can be pulling from clearing out that thing but i think that's gonna be about it guys we're back at the extraction here and taking a look into our rucksack man we got some good stuff we got that ether blade vr11 case a refined crystal we got that elder sigil a regular sigil two mags of holding yeah i definitely couldn't be more happy about these couple of runs let me know down in the comment section what you guys are thinking do you like this new dark ether better or do you like the old dark ether better be sure to drop the video a like if you enjoyed it or if you found it all informative i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i will catch you in the next one